shared with you um, in terms of how I got into public service. It was on September 11, 2001, and I was sitting in Arlington, Virginia, uh, being interviewed for the job of Director of Infrastructure Technology. And it was about 8.30 in the morning uh, when the interview began. In the middle of it, someone knocks on the door and says, we've entered a federal emergency. I'm sitting there thinking, what the hell did I say here? And suddenly, you know, we turn on CNN and we see the second plane going to the World Trade Center. And there, you know, the CIA asked me to join on the spot and I accept, accepted the job. And that was September 11, 2001. And interoperability was such an important issue back then. And we talked about well, how do we build institutional networks, how do we get fiber from Arlington to DC to Fairfax and the entire region. So what we did is we created the NCR net. And we've got about 23 jurisdictions that are part of that, and over 10 that are connected. But part of what's been really, really disappointing is as you look at those jurisdictions, you know, think of one thing that a municipality owns, and that's GIS. So every single jurisdiction owns GIS, but guess what? None of them interoperate. So if I wanted to get GIS data between Arlington, you know, and Fairfax, and Montgomery County, and DC, I still can't do that today, even though we've spent millions of dollars on the network. But it took Google less than six months to come out with Google Earth to be able to solve that problem overnight. And that's the challenge we face as we look at these networks here, and when we look at national infrastructure, as we look at the railroads, as we look at governments when it makes uh, a decision and decides to move in one direction, like the national highway system. And what we haven't seen since September 11, 2001, is that level of commitment to move forward aggressively.